Well, you also had August of uh, 2010 at Monmouth Park, which is one of your better moments, I think, nationally, or at least uh, the opportunity for people to realize what you do. And you you don't know how these horses are going to intertwine when you look at the program, but it seemed to uh, intertwine magically that day. So uh, we'll take you back to that call. Here's uh, Larry Colmus at Monmouth Park. My wife knows everything broke well. Lady Butata is up and on the pace. Rojo's tune is out third. The wife doesn't know fourth to the outside. And Alini's hope is fifth as they move for the first turn. On the far outside, Little Miss Macho is going up. After that tardy start, all the way up to battle with the leaders. On the lucky side is next. A ground-saving trip for Morningside Heights. Late for class in Miss Tallahassee or in the back of the field as Lady Mutata leads the way to the back stretch. On the far outside, the wife doesn't know is moving up and is now fourth and right alongside of My Wife Knows Everything. My Wife Knows Everything and The Wife Doesn't Know are moving together on the far turn, and they're coming after Lady Mutata coming to the quarter pole. Lady Mutata in front. Here come My Wife Knows Everything, and The Wife Doesn't Know on the far outside. Little Miss Macho is fourth. They're into the stretch. Lady Mutata, My Wife Knows Everything. Center of the track, The Wife Doesn't Know. Into the final furlong. My Wife Knows Everything. The wife doesn't know. They're one, two. Of course they are. My wife knows everything in front. To the outside, the wife doesn't know. My wife knows everything. The wife doesn't know. My wife knows everything. More than the wife doesn't know. Whew. Miss Tallahassee was third, <laughs> and Morningside Heights was fourth. Oh. Yeah. You can't script it any better than that, Larry. Well, that's what they threw at me, you know, those... Uh, those horses had, you know, absolutely nothing in common. It was a complete coincidence that they showed up in the oh. same race. And you could see as the race was developing that this could this could happen. They were starting to move together. I'm like, okay, here we go. And uh, <laughs> just, just wanted to get through it, you know. <laughs> just get the names right and finish it out. And I and, uh, got a couple of text messages from friends afterwards. And all of a sudden, uh, I guess uh, it became a little bit bigger deal. And oh. we're starting to get YouTube hits like crazy. But it was fun. Did you have ever anything close to that where, where you're putting two horses together or three horses together with the names that you would never do that or never thought you'd do that? No, I don't think so. I think that was a, a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity to to have a, a race like that come along. So uh, I don't anticipate it happening again. Although I tell people I I, I prefer to be uh, more known for calling them American Pharaohs Triple Crown than that. But uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy it, so I, I guess I should too. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.